So the way I understand it is that we should live our lives in such a way that we're always ready for the revelation whenever the Lord is ready to pour it out on us. Hold so, up. Not ready for. See, that, that language suggests to me, it, no, it, uh, well, whenever it comes, you're living in the revelation. Right. So Hold we it. have a daily walk. That, that, that <laughs> phrase, I think, is significant. Instead of thinking we cruise along, oh, I got to stop what I'm doing now, and I got to get geared up to receive revelation. You're always in it, that we may always have His Spirit to be with us. Now, there are people who will be extreme and think, I have to, you know, about the can of beans at the grocery store. This does take a little common sense as well. But to think that somehow our daily life is divorced from that ongoing influence of the Spirit, and it only comes when we gear up somehow according to the formula, I think gets in the way and messes us up. Excuse me, go ahead. Oh, I was just thinking, um, a, I think probably you gave the talk about having a constant communication with God and how we pray in the morning. And then we're constantly communicating with Him, just as the way we can always have love in our heart. We can always have a prayer in our heart. And so that it's not really just gearing up for that revelation, but we're always walking and being tutored by God all throughout our lives, throughout every day. 